everyone. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Welcome to the presentation of paper, which is the part of my PhD thesis. The topic is additive manufacture tensile ring shaped specimens for pipeline material fracture examination, influence of geometry. The ultimate goal of uh, this studying is actually to monitor the fracture mechanics parameters on uh, pipes uh, from uh, which is not possible to report test specimens that meet various standards. In practice, there are more than 950 different pipe sizes uh, that can be produced according to standard EN 10 to uh, 216. Uh, most of which are not uh, suitable uh, for preparing test specimens by standard fracture mechanics procedure such as ASTM E1820. Even if we take the sheet metal from which uh, the pipes are made, we would get, uh, not get a realistic uh, picture because during production there are uh, many steps such as uh, bending, uh, welding, heating, uh, cooling and uh, all these processes essentially change the mechanical uh, characteristics of the material. So far several uh, setups uh, for testing pipes with non-standard non -standard, uh, procedures uh, have been defined. Each of uh, these test methods simulate the loading of uh, damaged pipeline along the plane to the plane of uh, crack propagation which can be longitudinal or circumferential. Some of what uh, proposed specimens require a relatively complex manufacturing and testing procedures. The research uh, presented in uh, this presentation is a continuation of the work of uh, Professor Nena Beljak, Marko Rakin and uh, Bojan Medjo and others who analyzed the application of uh, P, P, R and B uh, type of uh, specimens, it's uh, pipe ring notched bending specimens and ring sh uh, shaped specimens tested for uh, bending at ray point. In fact, the concept of the test specimens is uh, very similar but the method of testing uh, is somewhat uh, different. Uh, so on uh, this occasion I will introduce you what, uh, what is actually about. In short, the PRNB Specimens is a tubular ring loaded with bending, so that the modified test procedures of standard SEMB specimens was applied, where the fabrication of the specimens, determination of fracture mechanics uh, parameters and the plastic limit uh, loads are adapted to the cylindrical geometry. Oh, sorry. Uh, in short, the uh, making PRMB specimens is relatively simply and in that way the same condition is achieved in the area in front of the crack tip as in the pipe uh, e.g. residual stress, degradation of materials uh, due to exploitation, etc. However, it can be said uh, that the way of loading, bending is not ideal for uh, simulating the load of a pipeline Therefore, the geometry of the ring, but loaded with uh, tension, is considered in this study. Uh, the first step in this study and the first step in the development of uh, this experiment, which will enable us to obtain fracture mechanics parameters from ring shaped specimens with the crack, was to test specimens made with aviable additive technologies. In particular, testing of uh, ring-shaped uh, specimens with a groove and a crack printed on FDM printer of made of PLA material. Uh, there are three types of uh, samples were, uh, were prepared, uh, on which the PT model has a shorter length compared to the others and the PD model uh, has a larger groove compared to the other two types of models. The crack was applied um, on the test specimens with the blade uh, whose thickness is about 0.5 mm with help, uh, with help of a hammer. After applying the crack, 
uh, on the samples. Uh, stochastic pattern uh, was applied with the help of made black and made white uh, sp spread. And the specimen is prepared in this way. They are suitable for testing and recording with Aramis DIC system. On the right uh, side uh, is uh, a tool which we patented and uh, protected in the intellectual property office and we call it D-Block. Uh, this tool is mounted on universal testing machine Shimatsu AGSX 100 kN. The test conditions were as uh, follow. The speed of uh, uh, testing was uh, 0.5 mm per minute and the speed of image recording on the RAMIS is one image per second. The values obtained on the universal testing machine are shown in the table, but I would uh, focus on the diagrams. One of the parameters for characterizing the fracture mechanics are CMOD and CTOD, who was obtained in, the, in this case with the help of the RAMIS system. In the diagram on the left side of the slide, we can see dependence force on displacement and force uh, of CMOD. On the right side of the slide, we can see report image uh, from a RAMI software on um, which we can follow the displacement area on recorded specimen. Uh, it is important to note that no stable, no ductile uh, crack row is observed. Therefore, um, for this material, uh, the focus was on determining the value of the stress intensity factor. This, this graph is for uh, DP specimens. What we can conclude from this diagram is that the CMO, uh, CMOD value is about twice as small as approximate value of the force as in P type specimen. As for uh, PT specimens, their CMOD values uh, close to the value of uh, P type specimen for a drastically lower uh, force value. Okay, and uh, also in all uh, uh, three types of specimens, uh, they indicate the regulatory of crack growth. On this slide, we can see a comparative dependence of the value of the gene integral on the path for uh, the PR, PRMT and SENT model. Uh, the quasi-static load of the PRMT and the SENT uh, specimens was simulated using FEM in order to determine the ratio of the value of the stress intensity factor. The diagram shows that the uh, distribu uh, di uh, distribution of the ring is uneven, which is um, to some extent expected, uh, having in uh, mind the geometry of the test specimen. Also, one of the goal uh, is uh, to verify the procedure of testing a test specimen with uh, one group, and um, which will avoid the possibility of uneven crack grow in uh, rings with two groups. Okay, uh, stress intensity factor are determined in um, FE anal analysis from uh, J integral, domain uh, integral method. Uh, when increase of the stress intensity factor uh, with uh, increase of uh, CMOD is uh, compared, uh, practically the same line is obtained uh, for uh, single notch and double notch uh, rings. On the other hand, uh, the values of SENT -E are lower. Okay, these uh, differences between, uh, between the stress intensity factor for uh, PRNT and uh, SENT -E uh, will use to quantify the influence of cylindrical geometry on this parameter for uh, a range of pipe size. The continuation of this test went in the direction of calculating the K1 parameter by, uh, the, by the FEM. 
The parameters uh, were measured for uh, rings with uh, one and two groups, as well as four cent type test tube with identical cross section. Uh, the input parameters for the calculation uh, were taken from the literature uh, while the comparative values for the obtained uh, K1 parameter for each type of specimens were taken for a force of uh, 100 kN. At this value of force, the values whose uh, relations can be seen on the uh, diagram are obtained. On the x-axis, there is a uh, there is a, a correct fraction in the width of the specimens, and on the y axis, um, uh, we show uh, we, sh we can we can see the ratio of stress intensity factor values for PRNT and SPNT. In the diagrams, uh, we notice a linear uh, regulatory in the change in the value of uh, these relations. At uh, this point, we cannot say with uh, certainty uh, that there will uh, be the same trend in uh, uh, varying other dimensions of the test tubes. In the following period, we will deal with the uh, parameters of elastoplastic uh, fracture mechanics and uh, as well as the examination of rings cut from steel pipes and also from 3D printing uh, metal samples. And conclusion, uh, all three geometries of the specimens exhibited similar uh, behavior without significant plastic deformation prior to student fracture. All three types of specimens uh, showed uh, approximately the same uh, behavior uh, but without the possibility of obtaining a correct, uh, correct row cure uh, due to the properties of the material. Correct row and J integral will be tracked on the metallic, seam and uh, seamless uh, pipe specimens. Finite uh, element analysis enables uh, determination of the stress intensity factor uh, for a wide range of uh, PRN geometries including the specimens with a single notch. Here is references and thank you for your time and your attention. Thank you Isaac. Any question? Yes please. A question before a question a suggestion. I think using the term uh, crack tip opening displacement it's not uh, correct because you have not a crack. You need a natural crack, a mathematical crack, in order to use the term crack opening displacement. Perhaps you should use notch mouth opening displacement. You have a notch, you have not a natural crack. Mm. Yes, actually. Which means also that the term stress intensity factor is perhaps stress concentration factor because if you have a rounded notch, the field is not uh, singular. Because stress intensity factor implies singularity of the field. So perhaps you should uh, consider the terminology. Yeah. Now the question is, what is taken into account when you calculate stress intensity factor is the crack tip opening displacement. Uh, but you measure, as it is usually done, crack mouth opening displacement. How do you translate CMOD to CTOD for your calculations? Because CMOD depends also on the length of the knot. While CTOD is different, is constant. Have you found the relation? Because there are, as Schwalbe suggestion, how could you translate CMOD to CTOD? Have you done something similar? <coughs> if you use CMOD, it depends on the depth of the knot. Yeah. I use it's not CMOD. And it's not a material parameter, however. Yeah, and, uh, and delta 5. Perhaps delta 5 yeah. could translate the same old Yes. So you should consider perhaps this translation changes the result. Okay. I understand. Thank you. Thank you.